Today we're going to be making a really cute Valentine's Day sign. I've been wanting to make this design for a really long time, so I'm super, super excited to see how this turns out. We are going to be mainly focusing on the slice tool in design space and how you can slice apart pieces of um, pre-made designs or pre-made images or SVGs and make them um, unique to what you want and what you want to work with. So I'm going to show you how to do that in design space, but before we get started, I'll go through the materials that we're going to use. We are going to to be working on a this is just about an 8x8 um, wooden sign I did get it at Hobby Lobby it's in um, the raw wood section it is $5.99 but of course it was either 40% off or I either um, used my 40% off coupon and it does come like this raw wood so what I did was I used this folk art chalk paint this is my absolute favorite it is a dream to work with and I used a foam brush I did a two, I think two light coats and then I did a sand with my husband's sander so then I just distressed the sides um, to make it look a little roughed up and we're gonna use two different types of vinyl today this one is paper studio vinyl it's more of a blush color and it's a permanent vinyl and then this is the Cricut light pink and this is also a permanent vinyl we are also going to need some transfer tape this is a masking transfer tape that I'm going to use and it's really awesome and then for tools you're going to need some scissors and a weeding tool of your choice you're going to need a scraper. I did pick up my um, larger scraper because the design I'm doing is going to be over a larger surface. You can still use the smaller scraper too, so if, you, if that's all you have, then don't worry. It's going to work great. Um, I also put my tweezers on my desk because I may um, apply one of my vinyl pieces like a sticker today so that may help me with that so if I decide to do that I have those handy and then you're gonna also want um, potentially a um, true control knife this is the Cricut true control knife I really love it um, and I'll show you why I might potentially work with this while we're crafting today too okay so just to double check we're going to measure our sign because that's gonna help us when um, sizing our design in or we're gonna measure our wood in sign to help with our um, sizing in design space so that is 7.75 roughly and by 7.75 okay so the design we're doing is going to be 16 hearts on this sign it's really cute so I'm gonna do um, 15 of them in this really pretty blush color and then we're gonna pop it with one pink color it's funny that this is called the light pink because this is the lighter pink so I'm just gonna call this the bright pink <laughs> but know that when you go to shop for it it is actually called light pink um, so this is a really fun design I've been inspired by it um, on a variety of different things I feel like this design is kind of everywhere but um, I've always wanted to try it I'm kind of in that crafty um, point in my career where you <laughs> see something and instead of buying it you're think you think I totally can make that myself so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today so let's hop into design space I'm gonna show you how handy that slice tool is when creating an image that you want to just use a portion of okay if you're unfamiliar this is Cricut design space and what we're gonna do today is we are first going to create a box by going down to the left hand side there's a shapes box and you're gonna click that and then we're just gonna hit square and what we're gonna do is we're gonna size this box to be the size of the sign that we're working with so that was 7.75 by 7.75 and we'll go ahead and color this white this is gonna help us because we're gonna be putting 16 hearts on this sign so it's gonna help us size everything and make sure everything is sized appropriately before we cut it's kind of like that old saying of measure twice yeah, major twice cut once. This is pretty much what we're doing in design space by creating this box. It's gonna really just help us check and double check our measurements. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add an image and I have found um, some hearts in here that I wanna work with and it's called Heart Border. And oh goodness, it might take me a minute to find it. Oh, actually it's right here. You guys can see there's a ton of different options. This is gorgeous and I really wanna do something with this. I love the little scalp. Um, and leaves but they're like little heart leaves so that's kind of fun too so this is the one we're gonna work with right here so I'm gonna go ahead and insert my images 
So what we're going to do is we are going to make these hearts stack um, four rows down. And so what we'll do is I'm going to just kind of start slicing and you'll kind of see the idea come together a little bit here. But um, let me first size this first row like so. Okay. I'm just sizing these first four hearts because they are going to make up my first row. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and in order to slice, what you'll do is you are going to create a shape tool and you're going to create um, a rectangle. So how you correct, create a rectangle out of this square is you'll come down to this unlock key and that helps you be able to create any type of um, a shape that you would like instead of just being a plain square. So you're going to just cover over the area that you don't want. I want to keep these four um, hearts right here. So really, I'm actually not going to take these away, but I'm just going to slice in the middle. So I'm just going to slice right here. So I'm going to put my box over the section area that I want to slice off. I'm going to highlight everything. Let me redo that just so you don't get lost. So what I'm doing is putting the box over the area where I want to slice. Then I'm going to highlight both the hearts and the box. And I'm going to come down here to slice. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and delete the box. I'm going to delete these little, um, I think they're like gray parts, and then I, I'm left with a cutout of my design. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these because they all are different. See how these are all kind of going different ways. That's super cute, but I kind of want them to be a little bit more uniform, I believe. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it three more times. One, two, three. Okay. So this is going to give you an idea of where I'm going with this. Okay. So again, I first sliced this off so that I only have four hearts and then I duplicated it and um, created the next three rows. So instead of just finding one heart that you're in love with, try to find a heart border that's all, that is made up of a um, variety of, of multiple hearts. That way it's just going to make this whole process a lot easier. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this row here and I'm going to slice out this heart right here because this heart, this third one in, is the one that I'm going to make bright pink. Everything else is going to be this pretty blush color, but the rest, it's or this standalone heart is going to be bright pink. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to repeat that process of going to my shape tool and going to square, bring it over here, and I'm going to size it so that it goes right over this heart. I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to hit slice. Okay, again, I'm gonna delete, delete, and then I'm left with this heart here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that back in line there by just hitting the back button. I'm gonna select this heart and I'm gonna come up here and let's just pick a bright, brighter pink. Just, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just want, we would just wanna differentiate it from the other color. Okay, let's do that. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to place my hearts back together. So, okay, so to make sure that these are all, whoops, let's move this for just a second. To make sure these are all aligned, I'm going to come up here to align and I'm going to say, let's see, align. I always mess this up. Uh, is it center vertically? Nope, that's not it some reason I can't get my brain around which one to use center horizontally okay so that is it but it just kind of messes up this tiny little heart because he's not connected so I can just eyeball where I want that anyway so by doing that you're just making sure everything is lined up and the computer does it for you so you're just not driving yourself crazy <laughs> okay so there we go that is going to be our design and the that is how you can use the slice tool to take a pre-made design in design space and just kind of tailor it to what you want to fit um, the look you're going for. So what we're gonna do now is 
actually after all of that hard work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide this box because I'm done using it. I've sized everything and it looks great. Let me just double check though. That's exactly what I want. I like to have a lot of intentional white space around my design. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hide that. We're done with that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take the hearts, um, just the light pink ones. I'm hitting command on my keyboard and I'm selecting just the hearts over in my layers panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and hit weld. And that is going to make all of the hearts cut out together. So if I didn't do that, let me hit back. If I didn't do that and I just went over and hit make it, then what it would do is it would place obviously my bright pink heart on its own sheet because I'm going to print that out of different vinyl but it would print this one like this and it's not like spaced exactly how I want it um, the heart's not even in the right spot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cancel and again command on my Mac and clicking all of the light pink and then I'm going to hit weld and what that will do is now when I go and hit make it not only is the little heart in the right spot, but everything is spaced perfectly, so it's all ready to go. That way I can just use one piece of transfer tape um, or transfer paper, and I can just put all of this down at the same time, and then I can put this heart down separately. This will all make more, more sense when you visually see it as I'm um, going forward in on the craft table, but um, for now, that's why I would weld it all together. It's just gonna make everything so much easier when it's, it's time to apply it to the wood sign. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hit vinyl because I'm gonna be printing on vinyl. I'm using default pressure and we're gonna get cutting. Okay, so it's prompting me to load the little standalone heart first. This little tiny piece on here this is a really good um, I always say it a really good um, project for scrap vinyl because it only takes a little bit over an inch square in piece so that's gonna get cutting out it's gonna look really cute I like these colors together you could also um, I mean you can do it any colors you want that's why um, you can just tailor this project to be exactly how you like it but um, Originally I was thinking about doing a red, but the only red I still have is from Christmas and it's a really deep maroon. Um, and I'm just a lover of pink, so I definitely went with the pink idea instead. Okay, so that's already done. Super, super cute. Okay. And now I'm just going to load my mat with this pretty blush. Again, this is the Paper Studio um, brand. It is from Hobby Lobby. That's the um, their brand that they carry. Okay, and once you lay your vinyl down, just take your Cricut scraping tool and get it all pushed down, get any bubbles out. And then go ahead and load your mat. Okay, now the blush is cutting and it's gonna be really quick. It's only been in there for about 30 seconds and it's going fast. So I'm just getting my paper trimmer out. That way I can just trim around all of the um, extra pieces of vinyl and get that saved. And while that's doing that, let me just weave this little standalone guy. How cute. Look how sweet he is. Okay. Let's just get this trimmed off. I'm at the very end of this roll of vinyl. I am trying to remember if this is my first roll that I bought or if I'm on my second. I love this color. Okay. There we go. just weed this really quick the best thing about this design is that you just have to um, pull up one side and then 
pull or yeah pull up one side and then pull it all off because there's no weeding out the middle or anything oh you know what actually let me try to lay that back down I was going to show you guys with the true control knife why I got that out what I was going to do was let me take the back of my actually I can just do it on this mat what I was going to do is it's hard to see but I have a little box here a vinyl that I'm not going to use because that is where this little pink heart is going to come in. And since I use this vinyl a ton, this color I use for everything, I'm going to go ahead and just take my um, True Control knife and I am just going to cut out the extra vinyl here just to save it because it's a lot of vinyl. Oops, I'm not getting a perfect square, but you guys will see. Um, what I mean and you guys can do a better job but it's a lot of vinyl so if you guys like to save stuff like me and if you guys have a color that you guys just use a ton then you guys can do this okay so not a perfect square but I did was able to save a little bit more vinyl um, again I use this color for everything so it's nice to have a little bit of extra um, handy and if I would have just pulled it up like I was going to that would have just gone in the trash because it would have been pulled away from the carrier sheet just like the rest of this and it would have not been usable okay easy peasy all right this is gonna look super sweet okay so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna trim this extra um, carrier sheet off okay and now we are going to apply um, the transfer tape it looks like it's just gonna be just barely big enough might not cover all pieces of the heart but it's gonna cover most of it okay And I'll just grab this little extra here. And we're done with that. Okay, so let me just scrape this down. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and back and just scrape this down as well. I suppose what you could do is you could lay this down and then put your heart here, um, but I think this will be easier to apply um, after all of the other hearts are done. Okay, now whenever you have a wood sign, um, a tip is always set it up on the side that you intend to um, use it on, just to make sure it stands up nice and straight. Okay, and then let's peel these hearts back. And if your vinyl is just sticking to the carrier sheet, just keep your weeding tool handy and it will help you to just help those little hearts along. Sometimes they just need a little bit of help coming off. I find with the um, Paper Studio vinyl that that is the case. I feel like this masking transfer tape works with just about everything, but the um, paper studio vinyl is really really adhered to the carrier sheet so it just needs a tad bit of help to um, come off of the the sheet okay so while this design looks a little bit complicated um, or this idea looks a little bit complicated with the idea of using 16 hearts on a board um, and trying to space them. It actually is pretty easy, isn't it? You can let the design space do really all of the hard work and then it's all spaced for you and all on the transfer tape and then all you have to do is just lay it down. Okay. Just 
gonna tilt it up to see if it looks good. It looks good, okay. So now I'm just gonna lightly press it and press it out and use my scraper tool and just really press those hearts down. This is gonna be so cute. And one more, just for good measure. And since we have a lot of, um, like, unlike text that is very thin, this is, um, a, like, a lot of vinyl in one spot, like the little hearts are. So I just want to make sure that there are no bubbles on each of the hearts. Okay. And let's peel it up. Okay, so now what you can do with this is you can actually just apply it like a sticker and that's what I'm going to do because I think it's going to be easier for my eye to see. I'm going to use my tweezers and I'm just going to pull this lightly off of the carrier sheet. Just like that. And then I'm just going to lay it down. just like I would a sticker. And it is done. Those colors look really, really good together, don't you think? So again, the kind of blush color from Paper Studio, and then this is the light pink from Cricut. It's so cute. What do you guys think? How do you think it turned out? That's exactly what I was hoping it would turn out like and so easy at first when I thought of this design I thought of placing 16 hearts and having them spread and spaced even evenly across the board I thought it was going to be daunting but when you just um, use that slice tool and use the duplicate tool in Cricut Design Space it makes it super easy um, and then make sure you also use that align tool as well because then it will space it for you and really Cricut Design Space is doing all the hard work and all you have to do is cut and weed and apply it to you or a project. All right, if you found this helpful and you're going to um, do this or do something similar, be sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe.